Hello, wanna find out if buoyancy force is applicable in A or a Kimmother's principle? Then what you have to do is simple. Just watch this video and from there, you're gonna judge by yourself. Cheers. Hi, so is a Kimmother's principle applicable in A? Let's find out. So I have in front of me three balloons, among which two are full of um, helium and one full of A. So I'm gonna release this balloon and then we're gonna see. We know that Archimedes principle state that any object which finds itself in a liquid undergoes a force which is applied vertically upwards on the object which is found in the foot. So I now I'm gonna release this balloon and see what's gonna happen. Oh okay, so if I have just to break it down for you, so Archimedes principle state that so if an object has a density, this is the density of the object, which is higher than the density of the fluid, then the object will sink. And then if the density of the object is equal to the density of the fluid, then there will be equilibrium. And then if the density of the object is lower than the density of the fluid, then the object will float. Will float. Or it will go high. So now I have these balloons here. I want to put them aside. So we all know that helium, helium has a density. Helium has a density of density of 0 0.18 gram per liter and A has a density of 1.2 gram per liter. So we can see that the density of helium is lower than the density of A. So now, now this balloon here, we can see, we can say that it has 95, somewhere there above 95 percent, which is Helium and then somewhere like somewhere there between five percent, which is the density of our plastic, which is the body of the balloon. So you can see that helium has a higher percentage, which in return I can just say this is just helium. So at the end, A it, given that A has a higher density, so it puts a force on the balloon and which in return makes makes the balloon what float or go higher so now knowing that a is what is behind all of what is happening so if we can just take out a from this space so we're gonna create we're gonna create a perfect vacuum so in a perfect vacuum any object despite its mass, any object despite its, its mass. So if I take two objects, one let's say is a, just a stone or a piece of steel, then I take a lighter object like a feather or what can I say, um, like a leaf, like a leaf, a leaf of a tree. So if I take these two objects, I hold them at a certain height, at a certain height from the ground. Once I release these two objects at the same time, I ensure you that they're gonna hit the ground at the same time. Yes, of course, with the speed of the acceleration of gravity. Right, if it's in a perfect vacuum. Okay, so then this means that. All the time that you get your mass from the scale which says that you have maybe you are 70 kg all right so out of that 70 kg you should know that the air has taken its part we know that the density of a normal human being is uh, zero uh, 1062 gram 62 gram per liter 1062 gram per liter 
that is a density of a normal human being. So at the end, if you want to get the volume of a normal human being having 70 kg, then what you have to do, we have to say volume is equal to the mass divided by divided by the density. Then we're gonna be 70 divided by uh, let's put this in gram as well because that is in gram 70,000 divided by 1062 gram per liter that will be gram gram that and that will go so now we know that the force that is applied by the air or by the fluid or gas in this case which is A will be given by volume of the object multiplied by the density of A okay so this will be in kilogram or in gram if you want to put in Newton then you have to multiply by G the acceleration of gravitation so now if I want to get how much pressure or how much force is applied to a normal person weighing 70 kg so now the force will be in gram it will be here force or Archimedes, force of Archimedes, I somewhat call it. Force of Archimedes in, let's say, mass of Archimedes. Mass of Archimedes in gram. So this will be then 70,000 divided now, divided by 1062. Then this will be volume and thus multiplied by the density of A, which is 1.2. Then at the end, what I'm getting here is 79, 79 grams. So you should know then. So if your scale is telling you that you're weighing 70 kg, then you have to know, you have to put in your mind that actually you're in 70 kg, 70.079 kg. Yes, in terms of percentage, that is low, but it's relative, okay, it's relative uh, 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 um, in terms of what is your mass. So, if you have a lower mass, which means the, <laughs> the force of Archimedes is higher, I don't know if you get my point, okay, I don't know if you get my point, because at the end, at the end, in terms of percentage, it will be high, it's not going to be low. So here, it's going to be lower, sorry. So here, in terms of percentage, then, I'll get um, 79, this multiplied by 100, divided by uh, 70,000. Then I'm getting 0.112%, which is in return, is lower than the... Um, what can I say? The torus which is applied to normal scales, to normal scales nowadays. Okay, because I think the torus is somewhere there, one percent. I think so. This is lower, so it's there. So actually, then this was a problem I'm sharing this video. So you have to remember then. So air is for the space, what water is for the ocean. So which means if you remove air, this space is like removing water from the ocean so as soon as you put the boat in your ocean and there's no water which means then the boat will touch the bottom of the ocean <laughs> as soon as you put it by creating the perfect vacuum actually what you're doing is you are removing air so i ensure you then again that this balloon that you're seeing floating in air will hit the ground as soon as possible you release it from your hands because there is no air which gonna put pressure on it to go and throw it. Okay. So this was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. For now, for now I'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't, like if you feel like liking this video, share if you want to share the video. For now I'm gonna say bye.